Hey guys, and welcome to this video on how to recover your Steam account if it is lost, stolen, or hacked. So first thing we need to consider is what happened. So determining what happened is important because if you have a lost account, you're going to treat it differently than a stolen or hacked account uh, because someone may have done things to stop you from recovering the account. So the first step we're going to consider in stolen or hacked accounts. So someone hacked into your account, they have your username and they have your password. They're going to change the email address almost assuredly because then they can create a new password and change the password. So now you no longer have the email or the password to get into your account. The good thing is Steam will send you an email if someone changes the email address associated with your account and they will um, include a link to help you recover the account or lock the account. So we'll get into what locking an account is in just a moment here. So the first thing they're going to ask you is, um, can you still sign into the account? So they're going to try to get you to sign in with your username and password. It's probably going to be changed. So you're going to say, no, can't log in. Um, let's recover my account. So then they're going to give you some really good advice. And I recommend following this advice because what can happen is if someone hacked into your account because they had a key logger. Okay. You're going to go through the whole process, unlock your account, and then they're going to get your username and password again next time you log in. Um, so I recommend scanning your computer with an actual antivirus software. Um, I just have WebRoot here because it's the one I use. It's um, cheap and it's really effective. It has active monitoring. So it actually will pick up on a virus on the moment you get infected rather than waiting until the next scan. So use whatever antivirus you want. I just include that because that's the one I use. Anyway, you should then log into your email and change the email password because um, possibly they might have, if they have access to your account, they might have access to your email. So you, again, you might re go through all the work to get your account back. And then they have your email password so they can use your email to then steal or hack your account again. And it's actually in some ways a good idea to change your email password every six months anyway, to protect you some of these things happen. So anyway, we ran the scan, we changed our email password. Okay. I'm secured. Let us continue. So, okay. So it will then take you through how to lock your account. So the locking of your account is useful because if you lock your account, no one but the person with the code will be able to access the account or rather you can't access to account until it is unlocked with this code. So if someone has your account, locking it will prevent them from doing anything thing more with it. So if say you got the email right away within five minutes of them changing your email, you may be able to lock it before they're going to be able to do anything nefarious like selling or trading your skins away um, or anything like that. Maybe buying games and gifting them if you have a linked credit card, something like that. So the faster you can lock your account often is the better and can kind of reduce less harm to whatever you have in your account. So, um, but make sure you write, don't panic write down the code correctly. I recommend writing it down on a piece of paper and double checking it verbally. So read what you have written down and check it on the screen. So anyway, the thing I'd, I don't recommend typing it in a notepad document because again, if they have a key logger or if they're somehow monitoring your account, um, they can pick up on that digital data. So physical data in front of you is sometimes your best bet. So anyway, now we're going to move into then the recovery of your account. So if you have, if you just forgot the account name or password, easy enough, they will email it to you. But we're assuming that we don't have that information. We need help um, recovering our account. The other two options are if you have Steam Guard on your account. So if you had Steam Guard, it's very a lot less likely your account was hacked. It is still possible but you should be able to recover your account um, with either a Steam Guard using kind of one of these methods. Um, and, and I know it's kind of saying I'm not receiving code, but if you do have Steam Guard, you can use these to troubleshoot 
get your Steam Deck code and then get your account back. So they're more self-explanatory than actually the recovery phase here. So if you want to travel to this page, the link is here. I will also include it in the video description. So anyway, um, let's recover our account. So we're going to need our email address or our phone number. If you do not have your email address or phone number, it will then ask you for your account name. So note for people, your account name is not your screen name. It is the name you originally used to create your account. So whatever you use when you created it is the account name that they're specifying. So once you log in, um, it's going to ask you, um, how would you like to reset your password? So if you have the Steam mobile app, like I was talking about, pretty easy to do a reset. But we're assuming we don't have access to it. We either we lost our phone totally and we haven't got one back yet. So, so it's going to say, okay, well, I'm going to text you this number. That's assuming your Steam Guard isn't working, but we totally lost our phone. So we can't even get that. So I don't have access to that phone number. And then it's going to say, well, um, how about your email? So it's kind of going from most secure, which is Steam Guard, to least secure, which is your email. So we're going to say, no, they hacked into my account and they actually got my email as well. So I don't have access to my email address either. So it's going to ask you to verify your password. It's probably not going to work because if you've gone this far, um, it wasn't simply that you don't have the correct password, but give it a try. Otherwise, I forgot my password. So now we're going to go to the step three, which is actually the most important step, which is the proof of ownership. Okay. So you want to provide all this information, but provide it in a way that is whatever was provided on your account. So I'll explain this further. The first one is whatever email address you currently want them to respond to. You, it might even could be a good idea to make a disposable email address just for the recovery, because if someone has, even if you changed your password, um, there may be a chance someone can still get into your email address. So making a new email address just for this use may be useful. So anyway, the username of your account you're trying to recover. Again, that's the not the screen name, but the original username. Um, so anyway, first email you used on your account. So that's not the current email on your account. It's whatever you used when the account was created. Or if you can't remember that, if you had an email between your current one, the most recent email or the latest email you can recover is the one you want to put in here. If you had a phone number account, use the phone number you put on your account. If you got a new phone but didn't add it back to your account, please use the number that you had previously. So then um, it's just going to ask you to provide some more information, but it's trying to provide secure information that not everybody would know. Um, the problem with saying, oh, I have these games in my account, is if you have a public account, Someone can go to your account and know all the games you have. So anyway, PayPal account holder name. So this is your actual name. Um, the Steam idea of the Steam purchase. So those Steam PayPal invoice numbers can be actually found archived in your PayPal. So you can get those if you log into your PayPal account, which is hopefully secure. And your physical address with your PayPal account. Again, if you moved, and did not add your new address to your PayPal account, use your old address. Whatever address is on your actual PayPal account. And you can confirm that in your PayPal um, account settings and see what that account is. This is the billing address you would have provided to Steam. That's what they're using. And then any physical CD keys you would have added to your account. So these are paper CD keys you would have added um, and they also want a picture of the CD key. So if you do have a CD key, great. You can provide it. It's a good way to show that you were actually the owner of this account. And then anything else they should know. If you know, hey, my account was hacked. Um, I don't have access to my email, but this is some more details about the time and the date. Like if they, if you can provide the time and date your account was hacked, that again is information that no one else would have. So again, anything you can provide, you want to provide as much correct details as you can, because you want to prove that you're actually the owner of the account and it's not some bob on the street who just 
fish some information about up about you. So anyway, double check this information because again, they're looking for trying to match it. So try to think back and say, was this the last email or was there another one I used? So then once you have sent that all in, all you can do is wait for a response. Um, the Google, the Steam support team actually does a pretty good job of recovering your account and getting back to you in a pretty good time. So as long as the information you provide is correct, um, they'll usually unlock your account in this proof of ownership step. So um, just a, another quick thing to add here is if your account was lost or stolen, there are a couple things you can do to prevent this from happening again in the future. So there's a video here to kind of uh, show you what you can do in the future to prevent your account from being lost or stolen or hacked again. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Later.